Hello everyone, this is Professor Capco. It's time to uh, tackle some word problems. So, a lot of students, they're one of their biggest fears, number one with algebra, is algebra to begin with, and then algebra involving word problems. Well, there's nothing to fear. It's all in how you break the problem down and turn it into an algebra uh, equation, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So here in front of you is a typical type simplified algebra problem that's a word problem. We, we can do some more complex, one, complex ones later, but let's start with this one. It says a rectangular piece of property is two yards more than twice the width. If the perimeter is 400 yards, what is the length and the width? Okay, so if we've got something like this, we know a couple things. Well, number one, we know we're dealing with a rectangle. We know we're dealing with a rectangle, and we know that the that it is two yards more, the length is two yards more than twice the width. Okay, so we're looking at the length being two yards more than twice the width, So, and we know the perimeter is 400 yards. So let's break this down. First of all, if you've got the word is in a word problem, the word is means equal. Just that's the equal sign. And if you're talking about twice something, well, you're multiplying by two. If you're three times something, you multiply by three, just like it says. All right, so we've got a couple different things here to work with. So let's, I'm gonna move this out of the way, and one of the first things I wanna do is I wanna draw what we have here. So I'm going to start and draw roughly a rectangular piece of property. So we know the length and the width. So a rectangle, I'm going to put this as the width, the short side's the width, the longer side's the length. Okay, we don't know what those are, uh, but the other thing we know is the perimeter is 400 yards. And if you recall, the perimeter is the distance all the way around, from there to there, there to there, from there to there, and there to there, as if you were making a fence. How long would the fence be if it went from here to here, and then from here to here, from here to here, and then from there to there? To there. So that's what we're talking about when we're talking about perimeter, as opposed to if we talked about area, which would be the length times the width. But we're talking about perimeter right now. So we know a couple things. First of all, it tells us that the length of the property, the uh, length is two yards more than twice the width. Okay, so the length is, so I'm gonna put L is, that's equal sign, and then we've got the width here. It's two yards more than twice the width, so we're gonna say twice the width, so that's two times W. And the W is right next to the 2, so that's telling me that's multiplying. There's no addition or subtraction between those. So when it's right up next to it, it's multiplication. W, in this case, is one of the variables, and the 2 in front of it is the coefficient. We're multiplying the coefficient times the variable. But it's not, the length is not just 2 times the width. It's 2 yards more than twice the width. So we're going to need to add in 2 yards more. If something is more, you're generally going to add. If it's less, or you're going to subtract. So that gives you an idea. Uh, so you want to practice what those terms mean. Um, if you're talking about more or less, difference. If you're talking about difference, that's usually a subtraction. So the length is equal to two times the width plus two. So now we have a starter equation here, but we have two variables, length and width. We don't know what either one is, and that's actually what it's asking for, what's the length and what's the width. Well, you cannot solve a two variable equation with only one equation. So we really need to come up with another equation here. Well, we look back and decide, what is it that we know? What else do we know? We know this about the length and we know this about the width. What else are we told? Ah, we were told the perimeter is 400 yards. Okay, again, the perimeter is the distance all the way around. So if we think back to figuring out perimeter, we know that's the one width 
plus the length, so it's this width plus the length, plus the other width, plus the other length. So this, 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 and this. That's equal to the perimeter, but the perimeter is equal to 400 yards. We know that because the problem tells us that. So the width plus the length plus the width plus the length is 400 yards. So the next thing, that's a little messy. I'd like to go ahead and group it together a little bit better. So I've got width and width. So I've got a W plus a W plus a length plus a length is equal to 400 yards. I haven't changed anything about that equation. I just rearranged it to make it a little neater. I've got the W's together and the L's together. You know what? And we could do one more step beyond that. Let's add them together. So if we had, in, there's an invisible one in front of each of these variables that don't show a coefficient, there's an invisible one there. Okay, and so let's add them together. So if I've got one width and I add to it another width, I'm going to have two widths. So that's, if I group those two together, I get two W's. I bring down my plus sign here, right? And then I've got length plus a length. Well, if I've got two lengths together, that's two L. I bring down my equal sign and bring down my 400. I haven't done anything to that, so I just bring that straight down. So now I've made my problem a little bit neater. But I still have a problem that I have a width and a length. I have two variables. I want to get rid of one of them. I'd like to substitute one for the other. Any ideas of what I can substitute? I draw your attention to up here. Up here, we've got length is equal to two widths plus two. So we've got an equivalency here. This length is the same. It's an equal value as the 2w plus 2. It doesn't look the same. That looks like an L, and this looks like a 2 times w plus 2. They don't look the same, but they're the same value. It's as if I had a $5 bill on the left side and five singles on the right side. They don't look the same, but they're the exact same value. How do we know that? The equal sign tells us that. We know that. It's in the problem. So what we could do is now do some substitution. In, if I bring down my 2w, and I'm going to add to it my 2l, but in this case, I'm going to pull that l out, and I'm going to leave an empty box there. I just pull out that l, that variable, and I'm going to label my empty box. I'm going to put the l at top there, just so I know L is what was in there. And I bring down my, my equals 400. I haven't done anything to that. I just bring it straight down. What can I plug in to my empty box? My um, empty L box? Well, over here I had an L and I've got equal to, and this is what it's equal to. So I can take this and plug it in here and it's going to be the same. So I can put 2W plus 2. So I've got 2w plus 2 times, it's still times because it's 2 times L, and I've got 2w plus 2, all of that's equal to 400. It's starting to look more like an algebra problem, isn't it? So let's bring down my 2w. You see, I prefer to do everything a step at a time. Now, since it's 2 times everything in this here, let's treat the box as if it were parentheses. So what we need to do is distribute. So I'm going to take my 2 and I'm going to multiply it by 2w. 2 times 2w is 4w. And then I've got to distribute it over here. 2 times 2, because this is a this is a binomial. There's two terms in there. 2 times 2 is 4. So I'm adding 4. And it's still all equal to 400. Let's get the W's together. I've got 2W and I've got 4W. If I add those together, like it tells me to, see there's addition between there, I have 6W. 2W plus 4W is equal to 6W plus 4 is still all equal to 400. I haven't done anything to the right side of the equation. Now, Let's solve for W. I want to get this W by itself. I want to isolate it. So I circle it so I know what I'm solving for. Let's get this loose number out of here first. The 4, it's adding 4, so let's do the opposite. The opposite of addition is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 4 from each side. 
I draw my line and so I've still got the 6w, I bring that down 4 minus 4 is 0 I don't usually write that. You can if you want to, nothing wrong with it. Bring down my equal sign, that's nothing to that. And 400 minus 4 is 396. See how nicely this is coming along? Now I want to get this by itself. I'm going to rewrite it over here because I'm just simply running out of room. There's no reason to. I got 6w is equal to 396. All I did was take the same problem, I just rewrote it up here. My problems take up a lot of room, but that's okay. It's always good to lay everything out a step at a time, and don't try and do anything in your head. Even though it's a good sign, smart students oftentimes try and do things in their head because they're used to doing things in their head. But the problem is, is if you make a mistake, number one, you're less likely to catch it. Number two, if you get the problem wrong, it's very difficult to go back and reconstruct it to figure out what did I do wrong. But if you do everything laid out a step at a time, it's much easier to find your mistakes. Okay, again, we're still trying to isolate the W, get it by itself. The relationship between 6 and a W is multiplication. 6 is, six is the coefficient, W is the variable. So we've got multiplication, we want to get the 6 out of there, so we do the opposite. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So divide by 6. If I do it to one side, I've got to do it to the other. I like to call that the pony rule. Whatever you do to one side, you got to do to the other. 6 divided by 6 is 1. So on the left, I've got a W. On the right, 396 divided by 6 is 66. Looks like a partial solution. So my width is 66. That looks like we've got part of the answer here. But the question asked for what is the length and width. So how do we find the length? You're right. We look back up here at our, our, where we started, and length is equal to 2 times the width plus 2. So I rewrote it there, and I'm going to rewrite the length again as equal to 2 times, and I'm going to pull that W out and leave an empty box there, label it W, and I'm going to add 2. So I get the same equation, but I just pulled the W out and left an empty box. What am I going to put into the empty box? Well, we found it to be 66, so I'm going to put that 66 in there. So length is equal to 2 times 66 is 132 plus 2. And so 132 plus 2 is 134. So length is equal to 134. That looks like a partial solution there, too. But before you turn in your work, it's always good to check it. How can you check something like this? Well, we can plug it back into the original problem. So we go back, and what's the original thing it told us was that the perimeter was 400 yards. So I know the perimeter is 2 times w plus 2 times the length is equal to 400. Because so that's simply 2 times the width plus 2 times the length is equal to the perimeter, which is 400. So I'm going to pull out my variables now. So I've got 2 times, and I'm going to pull out the box, pull out the W, leave an empty box there, label it W, and I'm adding 2 times, and I'm pulling the L out of there, and I'm leaving an empty box. Equals 400. What did I put in the W? What I found it to be there, 66. What did I put in the L box? What I found it to be, 134. Now I can just do pull out the calculator, and I find out that 2 times 66 is 132. I'm adding to that 2 times 134 is 268. Bring down my 400. 132 plus 268, if you put it into your calculator, you'll find out is 400. 400 is equal to 400, so it balances, so we know our answers are correct. Width is 66, length is 134. That's how you solve one of these word problems like that. Hopefully you found that helpful. I'm always looking forward to helping you with any kind of problems you might have. If 
feel free to put a problem in right down in the comments to this video and uh, I might even make a video just for you uh, with the answer to that question. And uh, if you like this video, click like and don't forget for updates, click subscribe. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be kept up to date to any new videos that I post. I hope you all have a great day and uh, have no problem solving these word problems. Until next time, this is Professor Capco.